connection with Republican Senator Joni Ernst of the great state of Iowa. Good to have you in focus. First of all, tell me about that and, and where and how far you think Republicans can get on this in terms of the investigation. Well, thank you, Harris, so much. And I am so glad that uh, we have Chairman Comer really doing a deep dive into this. It wasn't even Valentine's Day. And yes, Hunter Biden got a sweetheart deal. And we know that. We see it for what it is. It is protecting this president's son who illegally obtained a firearm while the Biden administration continues to go after law-abiding Second Amendment supporters. So I, I think this entire administration is corrupt. We've got a DOJ that is intent on covering up for Hunter Biden and the president and yet socking it to the rest of America. Yeah, and when you put it that way, I, I was reading that if you lie on a gun form like that, that, that will get you some jail time. Like, well, I mean, this is more than sweetheart. This got it, kisses and hugs all over it. <laughs> you are exactly right, Harris. And isn't it just rather ironic that this president is going after law-abiding gun owners who are just trying to exercise their Second Amendment rights while his own son is the one that is committing uh, these crimes. He lied in order to get a firearm. So this is exactly who the president says he's targeting. And yet, in the case of his mm. son, it's all okay. Well, as you said, Chairman Comer is pushing harder than ever. They know they're, yes. they're watching um, some of the statute of limitations fade away on some of these charges, too. So they're, they're trying to ramp up in a hurry. Meanwhile, President Biden keeps saying that Bidenomics is the answer to oh, what? Happens. We don't know. But oh. poll after poll is showing that Americans simply don't agree with the president. The latest from the Wall Street Journal finds 58 percent say the economy has gotten worse in the past two years. A Fox News poll finds more than half say Biden made it worse. The president's chief economic advisor faced some pretty tough questions. Watch. Only one third consistently of Americans think buy into your contention that Bidenomics is working. The polls that you're reflecting are oftentimes very much 30 or 40,000 feet up. I'm not discounting them, by the way. You can barely get Americans, 80 percent of Americans, to agree on anything. And here they are, line after line, agreeing about the importance of the components of, uh, of Bidenomics. So I think it's uh, a, a, inaccurate a, a, an inaccurate narrative to declare that somehow Bidenomics isn't working. All right, let's just break it down because these are the raw numbers that the White House doesn't tell you or show you. Since Biden took office, overall inflation is up by nearly 16 percent. Food, as I mentioned earlier with Vivek Ramaswamy, nearly 20 percent. Gas prices, nearly 60 percent. That's something that everybody can agree on once they see the numbers because, Senator, we see it when we go to the grocery store. It doesn't matter how you vote. Yeah, absolutely, Harris. And these are all basic necessities for American families. That American family is working harder than ever to provide for their children, provide for their families. Um, in my home community in Montgomery County, Iowa, I have neighbors that have, since this administration started, we've seen Bidenomics kick into full gear. They are taking on second jobs. So not only are they working full-time jobs through mm. the week, but now they're stocking grocery store shelves um, as a second job in order to meet their bills. So this is an issue. Americans see it for what it is. It is Bidenomics and it's it's rampant inflation. It's cutting into their pocketbooks and it makes it harder than ever for those American families to do the little extra things that they want to do. Yeah. Take their families on vacation, go see a movie. All of those things are being sidelined because of Bidenomics. Well, look, um, second jobs just to pay for what they had two years ago. I mean, exactly. the, the, the rate of inflation has been off the charts. I'm curious as to why the White House can't see it. Maybe they can. They can't sell it. But the Republican candidates for president pretty much across the board are starting with this as their opening topic. Why can't the White House sell it? And these candidates should be starting with this because this is what matters to the American people. But you know this full well, well Harris, that here in Washington, D.C., it's like an echo chamber. Mm -hmm. People live in a bubble here. President Biden needs to get out of 
Delaware and Washington DC. Go see the rest of the United States and see how our communities are getting by under his economic policies. They are failing the American people. And again, these hardworking folks just out across the Midwest, out across the United States of America, they are trying to do much more just to get far less into their pockets. Yeah. And it, it's a cry and shame. I hate to see it in my own communities. I know that it's happening elsewhere. But for heaven's sakes, Biden's got to get out of the basement. He's mm. got to get out and visit some of these communities. Or, or away from the beaches in Delaware where they yes. bring you your food to the water's <laughs> edge because he rolls like that. All right. What a lucky guy. Uh, Senator Ernst, you are <laughs> taking action on wasteful spending, pointing to federal employees still working from home, and it is costing all of us as taxpayers a mighty sum to keep them comfortable. Yes, absolutely. My squeal award, of course, is going right back to the administration. We have seen through COVID a lot of these federal agencies revert to uh, telework, but those employees are not back in their offices. And only about 25% of the federal headquarters here in Washington, D.C., are actually occupied. Um, so we know that a lot of folks are still in air quotes, uh, working from home, and yet we don't see the productivity level returning to where it was pre-COVID. So what are these employees doing, and why do we still maintain the leases on all of this unused space? Wow, that's We've an excellent question. Look, mm -hmm. there are a lot of ways that they could spend money in a great way. Give some of those single moms and dads some support so yeah. they can get back to the office, that sort of thing. But that's not what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Senator no. Ernst, it's always great to have you in focus. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Harris.